People ask me for help solving estimating problems, and I've discovered something interesting. Most of the time, the reason they're stuck is that they're trying to solve the problem by getting better at estimating. And the problem is not an estimating problem. For example, uh, a test manager told me this, this uh, tale of woe. He said, the project manager said, how long will the testing take? The test manager, having mapped it all out, said, two weeks. Nine weeks later, the project manager was kind of mad. He said, we started testing, and we've been testing and testing and testing, and there's no end in sight. You said it was going to take two weeks. What's going on? Oh, the test manager said, I meant each test cycle takes two weeks. And that's what it's been. Each test cycle takes two weeks, but we don't know how many test cycles we're going to need. So there is a problem here, and it's related to estimating. But the problem is a definition problem. And you don't solve a definition problem by getting better at estimating. You solve a definition problem by clarifying what variable are we trying to estimate here. You, you solve this problem by, by saying what your definition is, what is this variable, and describing it and testing it for ambiguity. So it's related to estimating, but it's not an estimating problem. Another example, a tester told me, um, our testing always takes twice as long as our estimate. And that word always caught my attention because it always catches my attention. Wait a minute. It always catches my attention. So I drew out a little timeline and I said, okay, so here's your estimate. Let's say two months that the testing is going to take two months. And, your est and your, the testing actually takes, she said, yes, it's four months. And it's always twice as long? Yeah, yeah, it's always twice as long. Well, then why not double your estimate? And she said, well, you know, we actually do know it's going to take four months. Oh, then if you think it's going to take four months, why do you say it's going to take two months? Because the boss wants it to take one month. <laughs> There's a problem here, but it's not an estimating problem. I would call this an honesty problem. And you don't solve an honesty problem by getting better at estimating. You solve an honesty problem by taking a good close look at your beliefs your values, the fears that you have of the awful things that will happen if you say what you actually believe. So this is a problem, but it's at core, it's not an estimating problem. It's an honesty problem. Uh, final example. Um, let's see what my final example was. This is a, oh, I see. Yes, you may have done this. I know I've done this. Uh, the, the manager says, how long will the testing take? And you say, 12 weeks. And the manager says, well, you have four. He said, well, uh, maybe if I cut some corners, if I drop some things, maybe if everything goes really well, I can do it in 10. The manager says, well, I can give you five at the outset. Mm, how about eight? There's a problem here, but it's not an estimating problem. I would call this a negotiation problem. And if you find yourself negotiating a date, one thing you know is that the date you're negotiating is no longer an estimate. What you're, est what you're negotiating is a commitment. And it's useful to distinguish commitments from estimates because they're two different things. The essence of an estimate is expectation. This is what I expect will happen. The essence of a commitment is promise. This is what I promise to do. Now, they're related, or at least you'd like to think they're related. You'd like to think that if you make a promise, that it's somewhat related to what you actually expect. But this is not an estimating problem. This is a negotiation problem. So each of these problems have a couple of things in common. One, they're related to estimating, and you can kind of think they're estimating problems, but they're not estimating problems. Second, they're hard enough to solve even when you know what kind of problem it is. Third, if you try to solve them by getting better at estimating, if you think of them as estimation problems, then they become impossible to solve. So next time you notice that you're in the middle of an estimation problem, step, step back, take a larger look at the problem, characterize the problem, and see what the core issue is at the heart of the problem that you're having. Once you frame the problem well, then you're on the road to solving it. Thank you.